All right, guys. So this concludes the best seat, in my opinion, that you can get for sure. Hey, guys. What is up? So I'm bringing you the best of the best comfort. I've been working on this video since I pretty much got the bike um, because the factory bike, um, the seat, is complete garbage. And it is solid as a rock. Uh, aerial riders got to save money somewhere, right? Right? Definitely. So why not the seat? Because the seat's very personal anyways. So I've got the list from best to worst, including the aerial rider seat, which is definitely number three on that list. <laughs> so my second option was this beautiful monstrosity right here. All right, I'm, I'm, I was assuming it was like gonna be really good, you know, cause it's got this, it's got like the gel. And you know what? It's got a little flex to it, you know? I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. And it's huge, like it is it's huge on this badonka donk. Look at that. It's just ginormous. It is definitely more comfortable than the seat that comes with the aerial rider. But I even included the zoom seat post okay so with this and the zoom seat post still was not good it was it was better than the factory for sure for sure for sure for sure but still not good see you know because i got a lower back issue so like hitting bumps on the back which is one reason why i got an e-bike you know just because of that anyways um killer on my back like the first day i got this thing i rode it just stock and my back like the whole next day the, my lower back is just killing me so um i'm gonna post a link to this bad boy i found and then if you're worried i'm gonna show you another trick for uh measuring your booty um see this seat fits anywhere from like i say seven inches and then uh smaller than that and you're fine <laughs> so that's a big old booty but um the thing is, is you don't want to measure your booty. You want to measure your tailbone, uh, your your coccyx. <laughs> I think that's right. Best way I found is just to bend over like you're sitting, and then you can kind of touch your butt bone there, and your butt bone there, and then boom, there you go. So mine three and a half. They range from like three and a half to eight, something like that. I don't know, but that's a big dude. Probably like you know seven foot or something, but. Uh, this will fit um, anywhere from three to five, maybe five and a quarter pushing it. I mean, you can probably go out to edge to edge and do six. Um, but yeah, like three to five and three quarters, definitely. Measure that booty bone. Remember, you just want the bones right in the center of the, each bone right there. Measure that. Uh, I'm going to get you a close up on this seat. And I'm going to show you this bad boy because this this is the seat you want. Trust me. So far, I've ridden it for two weeks, so I don't know how well it's going to hold up um, longer than two weeks. But um, the two weeks, it is it's still immaculate. It's immaculate. All right, let's let's go in. All right, my friends, this is the one and the only Proma. Booyah. All right, this bad boy has it all. It's got the squish in the tush. Look at that. Look at them springs. Check it out. Yeah. All right. So, do they work? Do they work? Oh, these bad boys work. These bad boys work. They do all the work. Like, it is night and day. And then the zoom seat post with it. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. You guys catching that mm, mm, mm. that is amazing that is amazing so this is the setup you want i'm gonna link this seat i'm not getting any money for this seat it is just an amazing seat see we got your little cooling vent in there it is great and then as far as my review for the zoom seat post it is an amazing seat post you can tension it up if you weigh more so that's good or you can lower it like it comes pretty low already so you're only gonna get a couple turns so basically kind of is what it is unless um 
unless you're heavier, and then you can just snug it up. Um, so where I got it set, I think just snugged up a hair from factory, you know, maybe like half turn or something like that. And it feels good to me. I guess if it wears out, I can just snug it up a little more and I will be good to go. Um, let's, I'm going to show you what the uh, Paroma, whatever, <laughs> comes with. So it does come with a cool little seat cover here. I have never used it, but uh, there you go. Let's get it. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty spiffy. It also comes with tools, instructions, like you need that. I don't know. <laughs> Some tools. <laughs> and it comes with this bad boy on it. But the zoom seat post comes with a better adapter anyway, so you're not going to want this. So toss it in your bike bin pile, you know, you never know, you might need one or something. So it's like I'm saying, this is definitely like night and day comparable. Cause like this one right here, complete garbage, complete garbage. This was a $45 seat. Okay. 45 bucks. You'll never guess how much this guy was. You'll never guess. Never. Nope. You're wrong. You're wrong. One more guess. One, two. Nope. Wrong again. $19.99, $20 seat post, $40 seat post, $20 seat post. This one didn't even come with anything. This one came with everything, super squish, super good springs. It is everything you want. A little air vent in here. Oh my God, it is the best seat post ever. Best seat post ever, or seat post, whatever, seat. Um, I don't know what else to say about this, guys. Really don't. So yeah, I really don't know what to tell you guys about it other than, oh shit, cut. So I don't know what to tell you guys about this seat to, to get you to get it, man. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, man. Like, I really couldn't spend $60 on a seat post. I really did not want our seat. Cause like I know the Cloud Nine's like sixty bucks or something like that, and there's like another equivalent one that was like another forty bucks or something like that. And I'm like, it's it's a seat. I don't want to spend that much. Cause like this has the release latch, so somebody can just steal my seat. So it's only twenty bucks, man. And then the Zoom seat post was like another twenty, so that's forty altogether. I really need like a locking thing because I'm worried about that getting stolen. But <clears throat> honestly, who really steals a seat, anyways? Uh, should I sit on it and get you guys like close up on the action here? We can try that. I'll show you guys the bedouncy bounce. That's my technical term for that. The bedouncy dance. The big dance. The bedouncy dance. Here we go. Is my butt going to be in the way? Should I go like from this side? Go we'll from like this side. I think that's going to be like the best, best view. And then we'll get the zoom. Oh, oh yeah, right there. Oh no. Oh oh yeah. Uh. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh. Oh, one thing I will tell you about it was um it felt small. I mean I was used to that huge one anyways. Um so it felt kind of small, but it's so weird because like when I first rode on it, it felt like I was floating or whatever. You know, some people like that, some people don't. But honestly, you get used to it. Now I don't feel like I'm floating anymore. I just I feel like I'm on my seat, and it's a small seat, and it's good, and I like it. It's super comfortable. I mean, I have zero qualms with it. Like I said, it will take you like a day to get used to. But once you've ridden around it, next day you jump on it, it's completely natural. And it looks good. It looks good on there, man. It looks good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sexy, and you know it. All right, guys, I'm going to stop bothering you. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, so this concludes the best seat, in my opinion, that you can get for sure. So, yeah, 20 bucks, man. I mean, I have had zero problems with it. It is on there. It's delicious. Okay, so uh, peace out. Good luck uh, on your journeys. Hey guys, make sure you hook me up with a with a little bit of sub and let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to know about stuff and junk.
and whatever. Um, 